G'day, I'm Roy West from Sunland Caravans and today we'd like you to start thinking caravans. Check that the DSC or ESC lights are activated if they're fitted. Now with your ignition on, turn on the lights and ensure they're all working on both the caravan and vehicle. If the lights aren't working, a few checks can help. Sometimes the pins may be corroded or the split in the pins on the plug can be loose, very easy to fix. If this fails, check the fuses. Trailer plug should have the same wiring code as shown. Here we've got the red, which is your brake, the yellow, which is your left indicator, green, which is your right indicator, brown, which is your clearance lights, white, which is the earth, blue are your trailer brakes, and black is an auxiliary. I recommend you travel with the lights on park. This is so you can see them from inside your vehicle. In the event that your plug should become detached, you will have a visual sign from the driver's seat. Now check and adjust those mirrors. You should be able to see down both sides of your caravan without moving your head from your normal driving position. Now is the time to do a complete walk around the caravan and look not only for the connections, but also the windows and hatches. I've seen more than my share of caravans traveling down highways with either toilet vents open, windows flapping, and even unlocked doors opening. You should also do a final check of the inside, locking everything down, check latches, doors, drawers and benches. Some windows have two lock points, make sure they're in the fully closed position. Turn off your water pumps and store the TV away. Now turn off the gas at the bottles. For more information on what you've seen today, join us at sunlandcaravans.com.au or log on to the website whatsupdownunder.com.au.